Uh, hello and welcome to Cube Speed. Uh, my name is Richard, and in this episode, we're going to be uh, installing and also reviewing our short shifter uh, to set the Toyota Supra Mark IV uh, with the five speed transmission. So, this is the uh, shifter to suit the uh, remote mount, or what's sometimes known as the tripod mount style shifter. Uh, so, there's also a direct mount version as well um to, to see that style of transmission and we're going to show you both of those transes soon uh just so you can work out which one you've got in your car and so that way you can order the correct uh, correct shifter from us uh so firstly just a bit about the shifter itself though uh so so firstly it's going to reduce your shifter throw by about 30 percent and it's also going to make your shifting feel a lot more precise and a lot more accurate and it's just going to be like a lot more enjoyable experience compared to that loose and vague and wobbly uh, kind of uh, factory shifter you've got. Um, so also with the shifter we've got uh, centering springs in it as well. Uh, so what that does is it greatly assists a lot with the uh, second and third shift so it makes it almost impossible to miss that shift and it also makes it a lot more easy to work out where you are in the shift gate like at any given time as well. So with the shifter itself um, it's got a uh, built aluminium shifter housing uh, the uh, shifter shaft is a hardened steel. It's got a heavy duty pivot bush which has already been pre-installed. Uh, also comes with three uh, other bushes as well, uh, so which go on your selector shaft and uh, we'll show you in a sec how the whole thing gets assembled on your trans and we'll show you what a difference it makes as well. Okay, we'll be back with you soon. Okay, so we just thought we'd show you the difference. Uh, between the remote mount or what's sometimes known as the tripod mount style shifter and the direct mount shifter. So it's important to check because you could have actually either of these uh, shifters in your car, uh, but it's pretty easy to tell the difference, um, particularly if you get underneath the car. Um, with the uh, tripod mount or remote mount, you'll be able to see this frame hang off the back of the gearbox. Uh, so that means you've got the uh, tripod mount or remote mount style shifter. Um, also, if you don't want to get underneath the car, uh, you can take the gear lever boot off and then there's also a seal between the transmission tunnel and the gear lever and when you remove both of those you'll be able to see you've got this straight up and down top lever you might also be able to see under the trans tunnel and see that you've got this frame here so the other style of shifter is the direct mount so with the direct mount uh, the shifter lever or the shifter assembly is mounted directly into the transmission itself which is why it's called the direct mount um, yeah, so this one's just got a single bend in it. Some of them have got a bit of an S bend or a Z bend. Um, so, but that's really the difference between uh, the direct mount and the uh, remote mount style shifter. So next we'll move on to the install. Okay, so now we're just gonna move on with the installation. Um, so, but before we go there, we'll just uh, show you what the standard factory shifter's like. So we'll just, um, yeah, roll it through the gears there a bit. So you can see there there's, um, yeah, quite a lot of throw in that factory shifter. And then also when it's in gear, you can see like just the crazy amount that the uh, gear lever moves about by as well. So installing our uh, short shifter will do away with all of that. So we'll, we'll move on with that. Um, yeah, so we've obviously removed this uh, gearbox from a car just to show you a bit more easily how the whole thing goes together. Um, but you don't need to remove your gearbox, you can definitely install our short shifter while your uh, trans is still in the car. Um, so the way to do that is the first thing you do is just, just to remove your, like, your gear lever boot. And then there's also going to be a seal between the trans tunnel and the shifter lever, so just remove those. And then working from underneath the car by uh, putting the car up on ramps or, or axle stands at the front. Um, is to drop the back of the gearbox down a bit. So just drop it down by about 25 mil or an inch uh, and make sure the back of your gearbox is still supported so it's not just like hanging there, lock on the engine mounts and the exhaust and so on. Um, and then, so you, by dropping the back of the gearbox down a little bit, you'll be able to access these bolts on the top of the trans a little bit easier and also these ones on the uh, on the shifter housing as well. So. Um, yeah, so we'll move on Move on with uh, just removing the, uh, uh, the factory shifter. Uh, so the first thing you do is just to, uh, is just to peel back this uh, dust boot here, uh, so which is underneath the gear lever. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to remove these two bolts on this bridging piece, which just goes between the gear lever and the uh, extended selector shaft. Uh, so we'll just speed through this bit here. Okay, so now, now we've removed those, we'll just remove this bridging piece, like that, and then there's a bush uh, which goes on the bottom of the shifter lever, and then there's one on the 
bottom of the extended selector shaft and we're going to be replacing both of those so uh, so the next thing to do is just remove the uh, the factory lever so you do that just by undoing these uh, four retaining bolts so we'll just speed through this bit okay so now we've removed all of those we can just pull the um, the factory lever out so that just pulls up and out of the, um, of the shifter frame like that. Uh, so, so once we've removed that we can uh, fully remove this uh, dust boot which is sitting over the extended selector shaft. Okay so we've got that removed. Now the next thing to do is to remove the uh, shifter frame off the gearbox. So what we might do is we might zoom you in a little bit just so you can uh, see us undoing that. Okay, so we just need to remove the shifter frame just by undoing this bolt at the top. And then there's one down on this side and then the same on the, on the back side here as well. Uh, so this shifter frame we've already put in like a solid mount kit. Uh, but the same applies um, even if you've still got the factory bushes in there. So we'll just uh, speed through uh, just undoing all those bolts. Okay, so once you've undone those bolts, just carefully slide off uh, the uh, tripod frame. So just be really careful not to, not to drop these. They're really quite brittle and they break quite easily. So, uh, so we'll just remove that. We'll just put that over there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is just remove this housing. Uh, so there's just six hold down bolts on here. So we'll just speed through uh, just undoing all those bolts. Okay, so now we've removed all those bolts, we can just remove this housing. And there's a, um, a gasket, metal gasket here that we can just remove. So the main reason we, well, the only reason we remove that housing is so we can get through to this bush here. So there's a replacement one of these in the kit and uh, we'll show you how to uh, remove and replace that. Okay, so to remove this bush, uh, we found the best way to do it is just uh, grab a pair of pliers and grab it like that and then just kind of just lever it off okay, just like that and then to install the new one you want to grab your uh, grab your new new bush out of the kit uh, yeah put it down put it down on a bench um, like with the uh, open side facing up uh, put the ball in the in the cup of the bush and then and then hit the top of your, the um, of this housing with a with a rubber mallet just just to kind of like snap it into the bush so we'll just do that now it's really it'd be really hard to um, film so unfortunately you won't actually see what happens but there it is uh, she's on there nicely uh, so now we can start the uh, reassembly okay so now we're just going to continue with the reassembly uh, so we're just going to put the housing back on so you just need to line that newly installed bush up um, just with the uh, selector inside the gearbox here uh, but before we do that uh, put this uh, put the plate back on so just line that bush up in the selector. Beautiful. And then put your six bolt, six uh, hold down bolts back in. Uh, so again, like we'll just uh, we'll just speed through this bit. Okay, and then just torque, it, torque them down. So just working like in a crisscross kind of pattern. Um, okay, so now we've got the uh, housing installed, we're just gonna uh, reinstall the frame. So we'll just probably uh, speed through a lot of this. Um, so just get all the bolts in like finger tight before you start doing them up with the, uh, with the ratchet. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so now we can uh, start uh, reinstalling the shifter. Okay, so now we can move on to installing our short shifter. Uh, so on this one we've already uh, pre-installed uh, one of our billet aluminium gear knobs with our logo on it there. Um, so the short shifter just sits on top of the uh, shifter frame like that. Um, and then uh, it's just secured with the uh, four hold down bolts that are provided. So we'll just uh, speed through, just screwing those bolts in. Alright, so now we're going to move on to uh, installing the bushes on the selector shaft, but we'll just move the camera in a little bit closer for that. Alright, so now we just need to install these uh, bronze bushes. So there's two of those. And uh, then there's four O-rings as well, which come in the kit. Uh, so the bushes just go in the selector shaft there, just with an O-ring on each side. And then one in the on the bottom of the shifter shaft there, and then on an o and then an O ring on each side. Uh, so it's a good idea actually to use a bit of grease on these uh, on these bushes as well, because they are like a moving pivot point. And then you put your bridging piece uh, back on. So the bridging piece which goes between um, the shifter lever and the extended shifter shaft, extended um, selector shaft I should say. Okay, and that's just um, yeah resecured with the with the two uh, factory bolts. All right, and then you can do these up really tight. Okay, and then just pull the dust boot, um, yeah, back around, and uh, yeah, reattach it to the shifter frame. Okay, so that completes the install. So we'll just give it a bit of a test out. We'll just run it through the gears, so you can probably tell that shift distance is uh, yeah much shorter than what it was previously. Shift also feels just like super accurate and precise as well. Um, and also with those centering springs, it's just returning to the 3 4 gate really nicely, so you know where you are on the shift pattern at any given time. Um, yeah, so all you need to do now is just uh, put all your car back together again. Um, yeah, you go and take your car out for a test drive, shift some gears, have some fun, and uh, we'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.